Welcome, my class. It's good to see you. It's Miss Melanie. Welcome. We're back in my cla our classroom. And we're going to go ahead and do our circle time like we always do. Here we go. What color we got going on right here? What color's our crayon? Somebody said purple? Yep. And that's purple. What's Miss Melanie's favorite color? Yep. Purple. Hello to all my friends. I knew you were going to say purple. Okay, let's work on our letters. Z, Z, zebra. Z, Z, zipper. Z, X, X ray. X ray. Xylophone. X. V, V, vase. V, V, violin. V. And we're talking about dinosaurs, and I got a story in just a minute, but let's finish our theme board first. All right, guys. Here's our numbers. What number is that? Ten? Who said ten? One and zero make ten. Let's count and see if it's really ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the number 10, 1 and a 0, and this is the word 10. T-E-N spells 10. What shape is that? A hexagon, you sure? Who said that? Ooh, y'all got this going. Let's count it. Let's make sure if it's a hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And guys, a hexagon, it's six sides. Hex, H-E-X, means six that's a hexagon. All right. Let's do our calendar. It's calendar time. Yes, it is. It's calendar time. Yes, it is. It's calendar time. Yes, it is. It's time for a calendar. We're gonna we're gonna practice for April, cause that's where I've got it. I missed y'all and wasn't sure I was getting you back or when I was getting you back, so I went ahead and put on April up there. And look. Wednesday, it says Wednesday was the first. So, two for Thursday. Excuse me. Three for Friday. And guys, I'll fix this. We'll have to fix this later, but right now, what's what we do? Four for Saturday. We're going to talk about April. We're not April yet, but we're close. Five, six. So, we're going to say it's April. So we wins, last Wednesday was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, guys. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. All day long. All day long. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. All day long. All day long. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. All day long. All day long. All right, guys. Let's talk. Let's get on down here and talk about some dinosaurs where you can see me better. First off, we're talking about our dinosaurs. And what is a dinosaur? What'd you say? What'd you say a dinosaur was? Hmm. I'll think about that one a little bit here. A dinosaur looks like a big lizard? Is that what somebody said? Yep. That's exactly what a dinosaur, the definition is. Definition is what it means. They called it terrible lizard is what a dinosaur was called. Look, I've got, look at all these dinosaurs i got around me right here. And I got all over the board. Terrible lizard? I don't know if that one's so terrible, but we're going to go with it. All right. But look, we're learning about dinosaurs. I've got a few on my board. Here's a skeleton of a tri Tyrannosaurus rex. Oh, there's an Ankylosaurus. That's just a few of our dinosaurs we'll be learning about this week. And I have... Danny and the Dinosaur. Story and Pictures by Sid Hoff. 
archives. I used to love this book when I was a kid. Let's see if it's any good. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. He saw Indians, he saw bears, he saw Eskimos. He saw guns and swords and he saw, oh my goodness, I wonder what he saw. Oh my goodness, dinosaurs! Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. I'm sorry they are not, I'm sorry they are not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur. And I think it would be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you, said Danny. Yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good, said Danny. What can we do? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on him. Would you like to ride a dinosaur? I think that would be pretty cool. Well, I'm kind of scared of getting up too high. So, and that's a pretty tall dinosaur. Let's see how Danny does with it. Let's go, said Danny. He looks pretty happy to me. A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. The dinosaur was so tall, Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look, there's the clotheslines. He had to hold up the clotheslines. He's there in a big city. Look out, said Danny. Bow wow, said a dog running after them. He thinks you're a car, said Danny. Go away, dog. We are not a car. I can make a noise like a car, said the dinosaur. Honk, 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 honk. What big rocks, said the dinosaur. They are not rocks, said Danny. They are buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. Oh my goodness, look, it hasn't even come around the corner yet. Look how long that tail is. Some people were waiting for a bus. <laughs> they rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. <laughs> All who want to cross the street may walk on my back's back, said the dinosaur. Look, now he's a bridge. And he's making an arch like a bridge. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundle, said the lady. He's helping her carry your stuff home. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. Let's, it's good to take an hour or two off after a hundred million years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. I wish I ha we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boat. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. Look, the dinosaur swam under the bridge. Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten any of that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says? Please keep off. They both had ice cream instead. Look, there's the ice cream man. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. And nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or hippos either. Look, where are they running to? Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friend, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. So I guess they're leaving the zoo. There they are, said Danny. Why is Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted, said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. 
Around and around the block ran the dinosaur. Faster and faster and faster. This is better than a merry-go-round, said the children. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I go that fast. I might get dizzy. The dinosaur was out of breath. Whew. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur to shake hands. Can you roll over on your back, asked the children. That's easy, said the dinosaur. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. Let's play hide and seek, said the children. How do you play it, said the dinosaur. We hide and you try to find us, said Danny. The dinosaur covered his eyes and the children ran to hide. They're playing hide and seek. This sounds like fun. The dinosaur looked and he looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it was the dinosaur's turn to hide. The children covered their eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here we come. Mm. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a sign. The children found him. Oh, poor dinosaur can't find anywhere to hide. That's sad. He hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again. I guess there's no place for me to hide, cried the dinosaur. Let's make believe we can't find him, said Danny. Oh, they're being nice, because they the dinosaur's trying really hard. But he's so big, it's hard to hide when you're big. Where can he be? Oh, where is that dinosaur? Where did he go? We give up, said the children. Here I am, said the dinosaur. The dinosaur wins, said the children. We couldn't find him. He fooled us. Hooray for the dinosaur, the kids cried. Hooray, hooray! It got late, and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. Well, goodbye, Danny, said the dinosaur. Can't you come and stay with me, said Danny? We could have fun. No, said the dinosaur. I've had a good time, the best I've had in a hundred million years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there. Oh, said Danny. Well, goodbye. Danny watched until the long tail was out of sight. Then he went home alone. Oh, well, thought Dan Danny. We don't have room for a pet that size anyway. But we did have a wonderful the end. That's one of my favorite books. All right, let's see what our friends are doing in the in the block area. Oh, it's the day to rescue dinos. We got the tractor. We got the plane. What is this? Did somebody say that's a truck? That's a double layer truck. What do you think we could put on there? Will our dinosaur fit on him? Oh, he fits perfectly. Let's drive him to safety. Just like in that dinosaur movie a bit a bunch of y'all have seen. How else could we get him take get a dinosaur somewhere? Let's see. Hmm. What if he flies in a plane? Can we save him that way? Oh dear, his feet don't fit very well. Maybe we better just roll it instead of fly. I don't want him to fall out. How many dinos do we have down here? One, two, three, four. This looks like it's going to be a fun day to play in Block Center. Let's see what else we can do today. Alright. You want to? Okay. okay. I got a smile on there. Guys, I'm in Science Center now, and we're going to talk. We're working with fossils. This is a skeleton of a dinosaur. I'm going to see if I can make a fossil of his body, because this is what happened. Dinosaurs a long time ago, they ended up in the mud, and they would make, get stuck in the mud, and look what I made. That would be called a fossil. That skeleton in the plate made an awesome fossil. You can see all the bones, the head, the legs, the tail. 
That is called a fossil. And people call paleontologists that are scientists, they study fossils. They go digging in the dirt and the mud to find fossils and skeletons to bring back to the museum so we can learn more about dinosaurs. I'm in Manipatives, and we are going to make dinosaur eggs and dinosaur bones today with Play-Doh. One of my favorite things to do. Okay, I'm going to roll it in a ball. And how do you, would you make a dinosaur bone? Hmm, I'm going to think about that a minute. I think the way I would make a dinosaur bone is first I'd take it in my hand and roll it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Roll it with both hands now. Dinosaur bones can be really big, as long as that, or even as long as this table, or they can be that little. They can be any size dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs that were really tall, and there were dinosaurs that were very, very small. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to make a dinosaur egg here. Start over. Roll it. Roll it, 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 roll it. And to make a dinosaur egg, that would make a really big dinosaur egg. I think I'll make a big one. Look, guys. That egg is oval shaped. That was a, this was a shape we were learning about in March. We were learning about eggs, and egg shapes are ovals. Water, and we're digging for dinosaurs. Oh, I just love digging. And look, what are we digging in? We're digging in Play-Doh. We're digging. I found a dinosaur skeleton. And you know what else I could do? I have an egg. I can fill this up and make a dinosaur egg. This looks like a lot of fun. It won't come out. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. And it's the shape. Look, guys. My eggs don't want to work right. But look, it's the same shape. It's the same shape as the egg. Oh, wow. And look which one I found over here. This is a Stegosaurus. And I think this one might have been a Tyrannosaurus. Let's just call him a T-Rex. All right, guys, I'm in woodworking. And I am working to build a dinosaur museum for our dinosaurs so we can go see them. Hmm, I can't decide if I need to cut or I need to hammer. This is a rectangle. I've got a rectangle and I've got a cylinder. Ooh, will it stay? triangle. How many sides does the triangle have? One, two, three. I found an arch. Uh-oh, it fell over. Ooh, I think I hammered it too loud. What, Miss, what? Oh, I'm hammering too loud? Okay. I'll do it gently. I'll do it softly. Alright. Let's see. This is called a level. Let's see if my tower is level. The ball is right in the middle. Our tower is level. And when something is level, that means it's probably not going to fall down. All right, now I'm in art. 
And we're drawing dinosaurs today. What color could a dinosaur be? Hmm. I can't decide. Should I make it green? Should I make it red? Should I make it orange? Or yellow? Or brown? Purple? Black or blue? Hmm. I don't know if I've ever drawn a dinosaur before. What color would you use? What kind of dinosaur would you draw? Guys, I think I'm going to try for Stegosaurus, but I'm kind of a little worried how it's going to look, but we'll try. Okay, here goes his spikes. Hmm, he needs a spike there. He needs a spike there. This no, he doesn't draw very well, but we're going to try. color did I use for my dinosaur? Is it red? Is it blue? Is it yellow? Mm, no. It's not purple. It's not his favorite color, but did somebody say green? Yep. I picked green. I just thought he sounded like a good color. Uh oh. I didn't give him a. How's he gonna see which way he's going? What does he need? <laughs> there goes his eye. And. Miss Mommy drew him, so I'm gonna make him a happy dinosaur. There's my Stegosaurus. Let's see how many spikes he has. One, two, three, four, five. Five spikes, and I decide to color him green. What color is his eye and his mouth? Purple? No. No. Brown? No. I used black. I used green and black to make my dinosaur. All right, I'm in Library Center, and look what we're reading today. Little dinosaurs don't yell. Why shouldn't they yell? Let's find out. Rawr! Your voice is too loud and strong, little dino. But be careful with your booming voice. Oh my goodness. What happened to the plates? They broke. Don't shout at your dad. Don't scream at your mom. Don't yell at your sister. Oh, poor sister, you scared her. Be loud when you're outside. Sing and shout and holler and roar. Be quiet when you play inside. We use our quiet voice. Hmm. Hum and chat and whisper. Use your inside voice. Very good, little dino. Right. I'm over in writing, and we have to learn to find the letters for the word green. This is spelled, this is green, G-R-E-E-N, and it's the color green. I wrote the word green, and I wrote the color green, and this is green in lowercase, G-R-E-E-N. Let's see what I could find. I found a uppercase G. Oh, wait. I can't find the lowercase r. I'll have to just make this work. I've got an uppercase r. I've got a little g. Lowercase e. Sorry, a little e. I've got an uppercase e. And I have a lowercase n. I spelled green. G-R-E-E-N. What's your favorite color? Yep. Purple's my favorite. I can't wait to start writing when we start when we have to write the word purple. 
Uh, hey guys, what are we doing in dramatic play today? We're looking for dinosaurs. <gasps> There's one right there! I see a Tyrannus Triceratops! <gasps> and a Stegosaurus! That blue one's a Stegosaurus! Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness! like the one I drew with all the spikes. Try it. There's T-Rex. There's a Velociraptor. That's the one that's on the Jurassic Park movie. I bet you've seen that one. And a Triceratops. Now, why do you think, why do you think we call him a Triceratops? Because he has three horns, are you sure? One, two, three, you're right. He's got three horns. Oh, they got food on this table. Let's figure out what they eat. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. T-Rex, he ate meat. And I'm not talking tacos, and I'm not talking about kebabs and hamburgers. He ate meat. They didn't have tacos back then. All right, and he ate meat too. The Velociraptor would ate meat too. All right, let me get these sorted by which ones don't eat meat. These three are called herbivores, or, or <clears throat> herbivores. These are called carnivores. Carnivores eat meat. Herbivores eat plants. They could eat vegetables, and they could eat fruit and stuff. So they could have eaten broccoli. We could give them some broccoli. We could give them some celery. They probably ate leaves and grass. And I can tell you this one, he's so tall, he'd been eating out of the tree. He beat leaves out of the top of a tree where nobody else could reach him because he was one of the tallest dinosaurs. 